gonna try some uh, higher register stuff with a pick, just sort of more of a smooth jazz thing. This is the uh, Lutz spruce top again. sweetness to it for sure. It's the Adirondack spruce. sounded like that one had a little more volume in the high end. Um, this one tends to have some versatility on the top end for me though. There's a little, little bit more smoothness if I want it. Um, I can get the... Uh, or the... Get a little bit more versatility on the top end. Where this one I think had the volume beat up there. Like the Adirondack is kind of electric, like like the the, the high notes are pulsing with this energy. Shit. The Lutz top, those high notes, they sound sweet and they're there, mm -hmm. but they're not like a, I don't know, electrically charged like they are on the Adirondack. Well, we had talked about some separation on this one, where this one has such a big, lush low end, like a much larger size guitar. Um, and this one, the, the low end is more focused. On this one, the top end, I know we were doing some stuff earlier where we noticed that even barely touching it, we just get all of the note quality that we had at those higher volumes. And it seems to have some, uh, some real sparkle on those notes. So um, definitely both each have their strength. So. And that's why you chose that guitar, right? Because that, that's a quality that you don't have in the current guitar that you're playing. Well, it's, it's more that uh, it, this guitar with that big lush bottom, I'm playing a larger guitar now. And um, I tend to have some of that already. And this one offers me a sound and a versatility in the high end that is new to me. Um, and a responsiveness on some of the finger style, the open, particularly the open tuning finger style stuff. Um, some high end stuff that I just don't have. 